Good day folks, this is uh, Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm showing a water setup this morning. Uh, we're in extremely puggy conditions. We're getting rain about every day, lots of rain. Actually had a tornado come through just uh, south of us the other night and dropped two or three inches. A lot of damage. But uh, this is the end of March. Uh, I wanted to show you our water setup. This is where the cattle were. And you know, look, you can still I'll tell you how wet it is. There's water setting on top of the ground. That's where the water tank set right there. Okay, the boys just moved it. Now they're setting it back up over there. I'm going to show you a close up of that in a minute. I just wanted to show you this is pressurized water. So we've got a hundred gallon tank, and we only let it fill up about 60 gallons. That way, when we dump it, we're only dumping out 60 gallons of water. And it's not real hot yet. Now, when it gets real hot, we'll take that 100-gallon tank and move the float up where it holds about 90 gallons. But you can see what they're doing here. Um, they're getting it resituated. So when the cattle come back through Judy's, Judy Farm, we actually moved them this morning off this farm, went down the road a piece. But this is a trick we use. When you come through the farm, always skip a few paddocks. So we grazed, we grazed that one over there. And we grazed everything back this way except for where we left the road up there, we left the paddock. So when they come back on this farm, they're right there, we'll have water for them and a paddock. And they got baby calves, so it's only like a, you know, 200 yard cattle drive. And then another 200 yards down to this one, okay? And so they'll be here a half a day, and we got another paddock right in front of them, another half a day. But look at this water setup they got here. So we're coming out of a snap coupler, which is right here. Snap coupler right down there in the ground, a quick coupler. Um, he's going to plug that in right now. There's a there's a well down there with a cap in it. And, and Alex, he'll show a close-up of that. That's the male. He's going to plug that into the female. And as soon as he plugs that in, it works like an air hose. So this is a lifetime guaranteed hose. Always protect your hose. Keep it underneath the wire. Don't your cattle step on it. Chew on it. This is our little temporary corner post I've showed you. And this is our predator. Boy, that's, that'll save you right there, folks. Keep that hot wire over the top of your tank, and on the hot day, the cows can't climb in there and break that off. If they break off that gold mega flow, yeah, it's really nice. You just take a twist and take that off of there. That's high quality water there, folks. That's the same water we're drinking at the house. These holes here on the side are to keep the cattle from dumping that tank upside down. Then you have your side walls here on the side. That's what the cattle stand on. Okay? Doesn't look like that big a deal. But when it's wet and it's raining, that will save your pasture right there. And it doesn't take that long to set it up. We have a little trailer up there we bring. We just keep it in that. And we kind of follow the cows through here. This is Greg Judy signing off. Everyone have a great day.